Let's go see what's new in the theater shack. We've had a birthday and Christmas. We even have been to a museum or two. And he's picked up a new couple of items. Look, spring is here. The dogwoods are looking beautiful. <laughs> I tried to sneak up on you. <laughs> What's going on in here? What are you doing? I have new things. You have some new stuff? Shelves are a lot more full. Shelves are more full, huh? Yeah. Look at all those fish. You have some new items? Mm Is your organization the same? Do you still have all the fossils in the same place and things like that? No. I oh, you changed it up a little bit? Well, why don't you show me around? What do you have? I have some new fish. These some new two fish? Are new. Where'd you get them? Uh, I got these in D.C. I bought them from some stores they had there. Actually, one of them's from New York. I think this one I bought in New York. Okay. Actually, this one I bought in New York. Uh, these are gastroliths I got for Christmas. A gastrolith? Can yeah. you explain what that is? Uh, dinosaurs had to swallow rocks. Herbivorous dinosaurs had to swallow rocks to help them ground up the plant matter. Cause mm -hmm. They didn't grind it up with their teeth. They swallowed it whole. Now I have four of those there. I also got this jaw for Christmas from a mosasaur, which is an aquatic reptile. Cool. I also got this coprolite from New York. A coprolite? What is that? It's it's petrified dinosaur dung. Petrified dinosaur poop. <laughs> and here's another copper light I got for Christmas. This one's sliced though. Oh, that one's polished up real nice. Yeah. Let me see. Hold it up good for the camera. Ooh, that's got a lot of colors in it. That's some fancy poop. <laughs> <laughs> I also have some... What else is new? new? I got this for Christmas. Oh. What is it? It's amber with a bee in it too. Oh, see the bee? Nice. Oh yeah, there is a bumblebee in there. Cool. And there are also some roots from a, another plant. Mm -hmm. I also got these, which we're not sure what they are yet. Uh, I think I remember these. Yeah. And it looks like, um, what is that? That looks like granite, but it's not. It's, uh, this is a fossil, because you can see how it's being built up in mounds. Mm -hmm. It's probably some type of bacterial colony. I think it's like probably uh, from an ocean floor. Yeah, because it's a bacterial colony. That just type. came right out of a, a field over here. Oh huh? yeah, it did. Just over here. Mm -hmm. Down the road. We also have some smaller ones here. Yeah. We think this is a piece of petrified wood we also found there. This was in a horse field. Mm -hmm. Found it by a creek. <laughs> I also have some more trilobites, a lot more trilobites. I got this one for my birthday. Whoa, look at the size of that guy. You can see his his crop base is also in really good condition. You can see the lumps on there yeah. and you can see the eyes. Wow, that's a big one. I got this one in New York. He's, he's covering spines. Yeah, he was uh, embedded in this matrix and somebody carved him out, huh? Yep, you can see the tool marks in the rock. Mm-hmm. That's nice. This is another trilobite I got in New York. He's also in very nice condition. You can see the eyes. If you zoom in on the eyes, you'll see him really good. Uh, well. Let me see if I can zoom in without it getting fuzzy. Hold it up flat. Let's see. Yeah. There's still some. Uh, you can see where the where the uh, quartz crystals would have been in its eyes. So you can see in uh, many directions at once. It also has some spines on mm -hmm. the back. It's also in nice condition. 
cool. Yeah. Did you find any fossils lately? Other than what about on the way to Nana's down in Alabama? Didn't we find something when we pulled off the side of the road? We found these. These aren't new, but... Oh, they're, they're relatively new. Yeah, they're relatively new, but not since the last video. So that looks like some plant. Some plants. There was some large grass, probably. Oh, yeah. I see you can it. see the marks in there. Yeah, I see it. Mm-hmm. There are also some larger ones here. I also got this in New York. Bought this. Mm, that's a, what's that called? An ammonite. An ammonite, that's right. Where did you go in New York to get all of these things you bought? A you rock to, shop. There was a rock, shop. a rock shop, shop. In, New, in New yep. York. And uh, didn't we visit some museums there too? Yeah, yeah we visited the uh, Natural History Museum there. Oh, yeah. Then we went back to D.C. and saw their Natural History Museum. Yep. I also got this oh. from D.C. Well, this was from another rock shop, wasn't yep. it? Yep. It's a shell. It's a Oh, it's got both sides to it, too. It's a brachiopod, but uh, it's a state st it's a state fossil of, uh, I think, Pennsylvania. Virginia, I think. Virginia. So. What, what's inside of it? There's something inside oh, yeah, of it. Yeah, there it is. I'm trying to get this out forever, and it never wants to. Oh. Uh. Oh, look at that. We stuffed it in there. The information card. <laughs> What's that say? Chesapeake Jeffersonius. Or the Virginia State Fossil. Stick that back in there. Yeah, stuff it back in so we don't have to remember what it is. I have another one of them right here. Except, um, uh, except this one's a lot larger, but it's only one shell. It also oh. has some fossilized barnacles on it. The fossilized barnacles are fossilized. Barnacles, well. that's cool. Who collected these? Do you remember? The man who owned the store. The store them. owner collected them, yeah. didn't he? Yeah, and he sold them in his store. Mm-hmm. I also got. This is another type of uh, ammonite, except instead of having a spiral shell, the shell's straight. Shell there are also straight. some where you can see how it evolved. It was spiraled, then it started unwinding uh, over time until it came out straight like this. Hmm. So, uh, wait, I'll be right back. Why do you think it's this shaped one like that? It's older than this one. Why okay. do you think it's shaped like a. So, this is a relative of this one, right? Okay. Here. So, why do you think it's shaped like this? Why do you think it evolved to be this shape? So that it could get away quicker, because it's uh, aquadynamic. Aquadynamic? So it's faster, and so it can escape sooner. I gotcha. And also you can see where there are cavities, where the body, and where it would have stored oxygen, so it mm -hmm. can raise and lower itself in the water. Also the body would have been in those cavities. Mm-hmm. Cool. It would, would those, um, that Nautilus and that other one, would that be called a cephalopod? Is that what those yeah, are? Yeah, those are cephalopods. These ammonites are cephalopods. Ammonites, that's what it they're is. Also, uh, they're also relatives of octopus and squids. Oh. Hmm. Anything else to show me? Mm, Anything else that's no. new? Not really, no. What about those shells? Aren't the shells new? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah we added shelves, a few shelves yeah. because we're getting kind of crowded in here. How are those shelves on there, by the way? Why don't you come over here and show us where, how these shelves are held on? Put it underneath the camera here. They've been drilled into the beams that holds the building up here. Oh, my gosh. So we cut them around those yeah. studs. And, and do you remember what those screws are called? Pocket screws. Pocket screws. And there are two screws that hold it in, so each stud had